These monkeys were filmed by Klaus Zuberbula's team in the Bodongo forest in Uganda. Zuberbula spent years living in basic conditions in African jungles, finding out how monkeys communicate with each other. He uses this equipment to record the sounds and uploads them onto his computer for analysis. The results are then published on a website. Individuals that are uh, the victims of an aggression produce different screams than individuals that are the, play the aggressor role. So here's a victim now. If the chimp becomes more confident and, and uh, fights back, the structure of, of his screams changes as well. It, now I think, I think you hear mainly the aggressor screams. So that's the victim scream. Now it changes. This analysis is carried out at the School of Psychology at St Andrews University, which gave Zuberbule his first full-time job as a primatologist. He left Switzerland in 1994 with a degree from the University of Zurich and went on to do his PhD in the United States and postgraduate research in Leipzig, Germany. The recordings of monkeys' vocal communication are from Africa and Edinburgh Zoo. Now I'm the king of the swingers, oh, the jungle VIP. I've reached the top and had to stop and that's what's bothering me. So we're at um, Edinburgh Zoo and we're standing in front of the Dino Monkey cage. The Dino Monkeys are, is really the kind of species that I've, I've studied most um, in the wild and I um, you know, conducted some research in the Thai forest of the Ivory Coast. They produce different um, alarm calls to different predators. Um, so, for instance, if uh, an individual sees a leopard on, on the ground, then he will produce a, a specific leopard alarm call. And, and if it sees an eagle, which is another predator, you produce a, an acoustically different uh, eagle alarm call. We can show with, with playback uh, experiments that these calls are meaningful to other monkeys. Callers or individuals would exaggerate the, the nature of the attack um, if it was likely that someone else would help. <laughs> Chimpanzees are the main subject of current research. Tupabula measures their response to being offered different types of food. If they find food that they like very much, then uh, they produce different sorts of grunts than if they find food that they don't like that much. So we, we've played back from a concealed speaker um, either grunts given to, to highly preferred foods or grunts given to less preferred foods. And then we observed uh, the, the, the listeners uh, foraging behavior where they would try and find food. And, and we could show that depending on the, the food grunt that they heard, they would, they would search in the appropriate uh, locations. <laughs> Zubabula hopes that through studying chimpanzee vocal behavior, he'll find out more about the evolution of human speech. You say it's true. And they like me. Scooby-Doo, and 